All right, your Khan Academy today is called Right Triangle Side Lengths. And what you're going to be given is three problems. And you have to decide, do, do those three numbers, if that was a side length of 5, a side length of 8, does that create a hypotenuse of 9? Does a side length of 6 and a side length of 8 create a hypotenuse of 10? And does a side length of 5 and a side length of 7 equal a hypotenuse of like square root of 74? So you need to decide. You may end up checking one of them works. You could end up checking that two of them work. Or you could check that all three of them work. You have to figure out each individual one and figure it out. So you could be checking one like that. You could like that. You could be checking two of these work, and you could be checking all three of them work. If you get it wrong, it will tell you a bummer. If you get it right, and yeah, let's see here, 25 plus 49 is 74. If you get it right, in this case, it would be two of them. You get it right like that. So here's how you do them. We will go away from that screen and onto this screen. All right, <clears throat> so here's three examples. So let's like, pretend my problem said which ones of these would work. So here's my three problems. So five, six, seven. So I plug that in to my Pythagorean theorem. Five squared plus six squared. Does that equal seven squared? Well, five squared is... Or is it? There it is. 5 squared is 25. 6 squared is 36. 7 squared is 49. 25 plus 36 is 61. Does that equal 49? Well, the answer to that is no, it doesn't. So that one does not work. Okay, let's move on to this example right here. Does 4, the square root of 8, and 24 work? So we plug that into our Pythagorean theorem. We've got 4 squared. We've got the square root of 8 squared. And we've got 24 squared. Well, 4 squared is 16. The square root of 8 and the square does what to each other? Does anyone remember? Yep, it cancels each other. So you're just left with an 8 there. And 24 times 24 is 576. I think you can kind of tell this one already, but 16 plus 8 is only 24. 24 certainly does not equal 576. So, nope, that one doesn't work either. How about the square root of 2, the square root of 3, and the square root of 4? I'm working on this one right here now. Well, if we take each of those and we square them out, the square root of 2 squared plus the square root of 3 squared plus the square root of 4 squared, the square and the square root does what to each other? Cancel. So in each case, the square and the square root cancels. So you just end up with 2 plus 3. Does that equal 4? Well, 2 plus 3 is 5. So does 5 equal 4? The answer is no. So I've actually given you three examples here of ones that don't work. Well, I will guarantee you every time you do a con, at least one of them will work. So in the spirit of that, let me just give you one more example problem here. And that problem will be 5, 12, and 13. Let's say that was my example problem. So I will take 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. Well, 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144, and 13 squared is 169. 25 plus 144 is 169. The two sides do match, so yes, that one, that one would work right there. So I did give you one that finally worked there, but that's how you go through and, and work that. Again, if you're doing this, do not hesitate to take a screenshot of your answer, send it to me. I will send you back a yes or a no uh, to make sure that that works for you. Um, you only need to get three out of four right on this one to pass this one. So good luck to you. Um, hopefully this one this one should not take you forever. Um, you only got three out of four. You only have this video to watch. So it should be a fairly easy math day for you. Good luck, guys.